Remember the last time that you ate yogurt? Did you get sick? Did you have a stomach ache? No, of course not. But why is that? Well, I don't think the question we should be asking is why, but more so who. Who are the individuals who are responsible for making sure that our food is safe to consume and healthy to eat? Well, that is thanks to food microbiologists. So let's get right into it and ask the question, what is a food microbiologist? Well, a microbiologist, according to the USDA, is an individual who ensures the safety of food. And there's generally two different streams that food microbiologists take. The first one is quality control, while the second one is research and development. So let's start off with the quality control. And these individuals are usually employed by food manufacturing companies. What they'll do is they'll collect samples during the production and take them at various times and bring them upstairs to the lab. There, they can be tested, and microbiologists test for different things, and some common tests include PCR, culture of media, and amino acid. Now, let's move on to the second stream, and that is research and development. There's two general ways that someone employed in this area could go. They could go for the safety aspect, so that is researching new techniques and new methods, new bacteria, and such, which help ensure that our food is safe. Now, they might be employed under research, like in universities, or in companies as well. Alternatively, there's also the ones who have a little more fun, and they work on researching and producing new food products that involve microbes. So, a good example of this is when you taste sour cream, the large portion of the flavor actually comes from the culture that is used to make the cream go into cultured sour cream. So a research and development microbiologist will help create cultures that create new flavors of sour cream which might be healthier or cost saving. So there are two major routes that microbiologists take to get into their position. The first is getting a food science degree at universities such as Purdue University or McGill University. These schools actually offer courses which are directly related and talk about food microbiology and the food safety aspects as well. The second option is to get a science degree, and obviously it would be preferred if you get one in microbiology. But other science degrees, such as biology or chemistry, are also generally accepted in many of these fields. Undergraduate degrees are a great position for those looking to get entry-level positions in the field and they're looking for quality assurance things such as testing in production lines. If you're looking to move higher on in the education, master's degree are great options for people who are looking to do research and development on their own types of projects. If you're looking to go even higher, such as a senior level position or a vice president of the division, a doctoral degree is essential for you. So remember, when picking the courses, you're obviously gonna to wanna to pick things that relate to microbiology. Good suggestions include biology, cell biology, organic chemistry, food science, and food safety. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. So don't forget to check out the Food Grads website. We got some great new content out there. And don't forget to check out our last video on what it means to be a butcher. So I'll see you in the next episode.